drive an hour north of St. Louis, and you'll find the little community of Rock Bridge, Illinois. Rock Bridge is the boyhood home to Mike Adams, born December 12, 1954. Raised by his mother and grandparents, Mike, along with his sister Bonnie, enjoyed the opportunities of growing up in a small town. He attended nearby Greenfield High School and was active throughout his time there as a member of the track team and participated in intramurals. Mike was in speech club his junior and senior years and served as master of ceremonies for the prom his junior year. Mike was vice president of his junior class and served as senior class president. Mike played football all four years of high school and was co-captain of the team his senior year, earning all conference honors. When he wasn't busy with school activities, Mike worked on a grain and livestock farm, and he graduated from Greenfield High School in 1973. Mike attended Lewis and Clark Community College in Godfrey, Illinois, and graduated in 1975. And that same year, Mike and Patty were married. Mike's career in broadcasting actually began before graduating from Lewis and Clark College in 1974. He started at WLDS Radio in Jacksonville, Illinois as a DJ and sports announcer. I was farm director and after four years as our farm programming and sales increased, I needed some help. Mike was the board op for our farm final program each day and it seemed natural to see if he was interested in the job as my assistant. After approval from our general manager, I talked with Mike and his wife, explaining there was some travel involved and there would also be some early mornings and long days. After they discussed it, he said yes. So in 1976, Mike joined our farm department at WLDS, covering ag topics and news stories on the local, state, and national level. WLDS had a strong community presence, and it was common to see Mike interviewing livestock exhibitors, doing interviews, and even, of course, as well, hands-on reporting. After over 27 years on the air at WLDS, the next step in Mike's career took him to a larger stage. The nationally syndicated agriculture talk show, AgriTalk, had been on the air since 1994. And in 2001, Mike Adams became the new host of the program. The platform gave Mike a new audience and to be national in scope of the subjects covered. With a consistent coverage of politics in Washington, D.C., AgriTalk featured on-air discussion with policy influencers and top officials at USDA. And AgriTalk was frequently out of studio with their broadcast, making regular stops for remotes across the country at a variety of events. They also launched the Ethanol Pump Tour, promoting ethanol at fuel stations, as well as promoting rural communities with their AgriTalk Hometown Tour. Mike joined NAFB in 1978 and became immersed in the organization with other farm broadcasters from Illinois. It was 1984 NAFB President Art Seacrest that was a mentor to Mike and his involvement in NAFB influenced Mike even more. After involvement with committees and within the organization, Mike served as a regional vice president, then ran for national office, serving as president in 1999. Many will remember the year Mike was convention chair with the theme, Linked with the Past, Online with the Future. The convention featured a malt shop and a 50s era theme night of entertainment. During his time as president, Mike attended each of the regional meetings and represented the association at Farm Bureau, Commodity Classic, Washington Watch, the U.S. Grains Council meeting, and other events. He chaired the Hall of Fame as immediate past president in 2000 when Dean Curtis and Art Seacrest were inducted. Mike remains active in NAFB today, serving as the association's historian. Mike has been honored multiple times during his career as a farm broadcaster, including the 1987 Illinois Pork Communicator, the Honorary American Farmer Degree in 1984, United Soybean Board Meritorious Service Award, Illinois Farm Bureau Eagle Award, Missouri Farm Bureau Outstanding Service Award, and the 1995 NAFB Farm Broadcaster of the Year. The list of dignitaries Mike has interviewed is long. Every U.S. Secretary of Agriculture since Bob Berglund to current Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue. 
Many of these interviews for Mike have come as a result of the travel he's enjoyed to over 11 countries. He's met U.S. presidents, Pope John Paul, and Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. Add in U.S. congressmen and senators, trade representatives, and even famed cardinal announcer Jack Buck, and the list is a great walk through history. Those who know Mike know his announcing skills go beyond the studio microphone. For years, he's been a speaker and MC for multiple local, state, and national events. What you may not know is that Mike has also emceed several local and state fair queen pageants, including the Illinois Pork and Beef Queen pageants. Mike and Patty have two children, daughter Heather, who lives in Nashville, and son Aaron, who lives in Jacksonville. Aaron and his wife Amber have two children, Caitlin and Jared. The Adams family enjoys their time together, and the entire family are Dallas Cowboys football fans. Family vacations in the past even included trips to see the Cowboys. Not only does Mike like the Cowboys, he's also a big sports fan in general. Follows the St. Louis Cardinals, Ohio State football, and Indiana basketball teams. There's speculation Mike may have found the fountain of youth as he's barely aged. Maybe the secret is his big appetite and the ability to never gain weight. And when it comes to digging in for a little more, there may be no better way to describe Mike than when he's in pursuit of a story to share with his listeners. Stories of Mike and NAFE Hall of Fame member Stuart Doan rooming together covering an event always bring a smile to the face of those who hear them. Mike continues to be a respected journalist in his current role as host of Adams on Agriculture a syndicated agriculture talk show on the American Ag Network. With 40 years of farm broadcasting experience, Mike continues to expand his farm broadcasting skills. Working with those guys, Samuelson and Armstrong on the television show This Week in Agribusiness. Mike is a role model in his community and in his industry and epitomizes what farm broadcasting really is all about, delivering expertise and relevance for his audience and his gift for mastering words has provided a comfort for countless people as Mike uses his talents on the air or when speaking at church services, funerals, and other events. When Mike Adams speaks, people listen. Mike is a friend to everyone he meets and always offers encouragement to others. He's sincere, he's humble, and he's due for NAFB's highest recognition as the newest inductee into the NAFB Hall of Fame.